Hello everyone, I'm Mitchell Ryan Darcy, and today I'm gonna attempt to watch all the episodes of season one of Netflix's original series, Stranger Things. Um, I have no idea what to expect from the series, except for that it's in the 80s, and I think it's centered around a group of kids, so it's it's gonna have like that Super 8 feel, I guess, because uh, I love that movie. Um, but I, I think it might go, like, stranger. <laughs> um, but I, I just, I don't know, it's, it's really, it was just recommended to me by, um, my friend and, uh, my cousin, so it's like, he's like, you gotta watch it, man, and I'm like, okay, I'll watch it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try something different for a TV show now. Instead of just before and after the whole season, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna cut in between and do a little, um, my reaction to each specific episode, but doing a very short reaction to each episode so you can just sort of see as it progress and then one big review at the end of what the whole season, whole season was like. So, um, I will be talking about spoilers, so here's a spoiler warning. Uh, if I don't put one in the beginning, Stranger Things, you are warned. <laughs> Got my VHS tape. Time to watch. I just watched the first episode. And, uh, well, before I get into the episode, I have to say, I, I put in the disc for the Blu-ray for Stranger Things, and it starts off the advertisements with Season 2 trailer. And, okay, it would have been very easy to skip, but Netflix made it impossible to skip or go straight to the menu or do anything to skip it, and so you're forced to watch the trailer for season two and it's like i haven't seen season one yet <laughs> i'm a little bit pissed off on that uh and then to make it even more mad um after that trailer ends they showed a trailer for the defenders which i'm like i haven't catched up on marvel yet on on the netflix side i'm still I'm, i only finished season one of daredevil so i was pissed off that i couldn't skip it so i i just left the room but I did see a bit of this season two trailer for Stranger Things, and it looks very interesting. Uh, but the problem is, is uh, I haven't watched season one. So now I've watched the first episode of season one, and I will say uh, it's a very interesting show. And I can already see it being very heavily influenced by the 80s. And I can just, it like, and everything, all the references, all the stuff, and all that... Um, it definitely looks like it's uh, uh, it's definitely a really nice beginning uh, to the show. Uh, very strange overall. Uh, <laughs> um, some uh, one or two surprising things and whatnot, and it's just uh, it so far looks like it's gonna be a pretty cool show. So on to season, on to episode two, not season two. <laughs> <laughs> well, episode two of Stranger Things season one. Um, it felt a little bit filler, but at the same time, it does feel like it's definitely building towards something. Um, they're definitely, they definitely set up, um, set up a couple things, but it's just, I'm not sure where is it gonna go. Uh, it's definitely very interesting. Let's see where it ends up. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, I, I think this is the first time I'm talking about the plot, but um, I mean, the boy went missing in the first episode, and then it's like he's still alive, but they find his body. That's 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 really interesting. Absolutely. Uh, but um, I also gotta say, I keep forgetting to praise the main titles, credits. Uh, I love watching that. Really, really great main titles. Really get you into it. Uh, really, I really love it. And the uh, the music and all that. It just reminds me sort of like a John Carpenter kind of movie and all that. Um, really good. And uh, I'm pretty invested in it. Despite it, you know, it's like 
Uh, yeah, I'm pretty interested. I want to see where it goes. I want to see what will happen next. So, I guess that's. <laughs> I guess this is going to be a very good show. But we'll see how the rest of the season adds up. Well, this show has my undivided attention at this point. Uh, it is, I'm sort of getting into the swing of things. It's like a, um, I, 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 it's been so long since I've watched a season of a TV show in general. I just forgot how, you know, it's long setups and buildups and all that. And I, I kind of like the steps that they're going with this series. I just finished watching episode four and dealing with the body of the kid and, uh, shocking surprise. Um. Uh, it's not that kid. Ah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we're about halfway through the series at this point, and uh, I really like it. I just um, I'm quite interested to see where it goes. I, I don't even want to review. I just want to watch the rest of it at this point. Uh, this show. Uh, this is the fifth episode, and this show is doing a really good job of just. I think setting everything up like it's just it's I'm starting to see the almost the full picture of it it's a really really nice job the show is the show is just doing an evenly paced build up like it's not it doesn't it never goes for, as of this moment and it doesn't go really slow and then all of a sudden gets fast it's or it doesn't just go fast and just stay high it's just it's doing a really consistent build, and I, I really like it. That's that's all I gotta say. Did I mention the opening titles? But the music, I, I really like as well. Um, even though the music is a little too somewhat on the nose, and then other times it's like um, just there just to just add to the thing. And it, uh, it's it's. I like it. I like it. I like their use of the music. So, hey, this is gonna be a very interesting uh, remaining two episodes. I think. I think I've sort of lost count. Uh, getting so wrapped up in the story. Uh, the writing is really good. Um, I mean, granted, there's some moments where it's like it's a little bit cliched, especially on the the romance side between the. Uh, the older brother and the girl uh, and the jock and all that and it's like uh, but eh, I could definitely push aside that the little cliches and that but okay well that was the seventh episode and I gotta say I, re I really liked it I, I the thing I love most about it is just it, it's finally all the characters are finally together and working together towards the common goal. We understand the, each of the characters now understand what's happening and all that and you know the time to fill in there's no confusion and they're all working together. I, I just it, it makes it it does this it does it is picking up definitely and going into the last episode uh, and it ended in cliffhanger so now uh, Barbara, I'm pretty sure, is dead. <laughs> uh, but the question is, will they save the kid? And what's going to happen with the whole government side of things? It's just, uh, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good show. I'm not going to lie. Well, I just watched Stranger Things Season 1. Um, and I will say, it is definitely, definitely a memorable series from beginning to end uh, in the short amount of time of only eight episodes each one about less than an hour um, so in a, in basically in about eight hours um, from beginning to end just overall story and all that is is pre pretty neat story there was some pretty good camera work and shots and just design overall and it's all held up um, even though the sort of CGI and special effects, uh, most of it for the most part holds up and all that, um, it's just more, 
it's just everything is held up by I would say the cast specifically um, the woman who plays uh, the mother of the son that went missing and the chief of police like tremendous tremendous acting um, I really liked how in episode 12 the final episode or not I keep thinking there's 12 episodes there's only eight episodes the eighth episode um, I really liked how they sort of fit in the backstory uh, for the chief character but um, it was done in such a way that it was uh, like most of the flashbacks in the show is all based on what the characters are experiencing in that moment and it reminds them of a moment that they show in the flashback and um, 90 percent of the time it works pretty well and then there's only that rare five ten percent of the time where it was like um it was a little far-fetched or not but it just you don't see as well as a correlation between the flashback and what they're experiencing but when it does happen well it happens well like wow i definitely if you if you like sci-fi um horror and supernatural i would definitely recommend uh giving stranger things a try yeah it's just it was it was really good uh just overall i quite enjoyed it anyways i want to know what you thought of stranger things season one uh let me know in the comments below thank you very much for watching I want you to have a nice day or night or whatever time you watch this. Have a nice whatever. Thanks again for watching. After watching this show, I can safely say I've seen Stranger Things. <laughs> uh, it's actually not that strange of a show. If I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, I rated it 0 out of 10. It wasn't as strange as I thought it would be. I thought it would be stranger, but it wasn't. A little bit strange. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding.